The Penguins have re-signed backup goalie Casey DeSmith to a three-year deal worth $1.25 million per season. Before I start talking about this, let me just say that I am sick, so sorry if I sound weird or you know, my, I'm kind of stuffy. Uh, I'm sick. Just wanted to throw that out there. Uh, so yeah, anyways, let's just get right into the video. So this is Jim Rutherford's second in-season signing of the season. And I think he's two for two so far. Signing Jake Ansel earlier uh, to a great contract extension, in my opinion. You can go watch the video on that. And uh, now signing Casey DeSmith, who I thought wasn't going to come back. But he gets him to a three-year deal worth $1.25 million. The first thing I see here is that Casey DeSmith wanted to come back. Because he could have asked for more money. Just like I said in my Jake Gensel video, if he finished out the season and waited till July 1st, he could have you know, seen what other teams were going to offer him before coming back. And I think he could have been offered $3.5 in uh, free agency because uh, that's what I've noticed uh, as of late in free agency. Teams that don't have goalies, they gamble in free agency uh, and they just sign goalies that were good as backups on their teams and they sign them as their starter you know example buffalo with uh, carter hutton because starting goalies are so hard to come by nowadays so the new way to get starting goalies is you sign good backup goalies and hope that you know they could be a good starter for your team and i thought casey de smith could definitely be a starter for a team who's really in need of a goalie come july 1st but that's what shows me that he wanted to be in pittsburgh because he signed it right now in season when he could have waited and gotten a little bit more money and he only took 1.2 million that's a steal for me he could have asked for 2 million at least i would think the negotiation would start at 2 million but he gets uh, signed at 1.2 that's a great deal in my opinion one more final thing and i even tweeted this uh this shows me that tristan jari is gone i don't see him getting a chance unless there's an injury but other than that i don't see him beating casey the smith especially now that he has that new contract extension i wouldn't be surprised if tristan jari is traded by the deadline and that really sucks because i thought the whole plan was he would come up in the nhl prove that he's a good goalie because he is a good goalie but he just hasn't proved it in the nhl yet and not because he's been bad, but he just hasn't had the chance in the NHL. And when he has been in the NHL, he's been pretty good. But I thought he was going to be the backup of this year, put up good numbers, come next year, and put up even better numbers, show that he's a starting goalie. And the Penguins could have gotten a lot for Tristan Jari because, like I said, starting goalies are hard to come by in the NHL. They're going to trade Jari, and they're not going to get as much as they could have gotten back, which sucks, but at the same time... You know, no one thought the Smith would have been this good. And the Penguins already have their two goalies. Tristan Jari is just getting wasted in the AHL. So I wouldn't be surprised if they trade him this deadline for a, you know, a rental, maybe defenseman, depth forward, uh, because they don't have much to trade besides their first round pick. And now, you know, Tristan Jari, they already traded Sprong. So uh, I don't see them trading the first unless they have something really good they're looking for, which I don't think they need right now. Uh, but I could see them trading Jari for, you know, depth defenseman something like the daniel sprong trade a young you know player in another position so trade you know the 22 year old jari for maybe a 22 year old forward or defenseman kind of like you know sprong for Pedersen. you know find a team that needs a goalie especially a young goalie they can build around which i think tristan jari could be a starter in the nhl and then attack a positional strength of that team so for example the ducks had way too many good young defensemen so the penguins kind of took advantage of that and gave them daniel sprong in exchange for marcus Pedersen. Because I think Pedersen is a valuable defenseman, but to them, he was just an extra young defenseman that they didn't need. And they needed scoring wingers, young scoring wingers. So they got Sprong, we got Pedersen, we gave up a winger that we didn't really need, and they gave up a defenseman that they didn't really need. And, you know, it works for both teams right now. So find a team like that that has maybe too many young wingers, too many young defensemen, and that is in need of a young goalie, and make that swap. I can't think of one right off the top of my head. I haven't really done the research. But maybe if I think of one later, that could be a future video. But as for right now, let's talk. Let's continue about the DeSmith signing. And one more final thing. I know this is going to be a topic when it, the time comes, and that's the expansion draft. There's going to be another expansion draft in a few years, and the Penguins have two goalies. And just like last expansion draft, they're going to lose one. Well, not necessarily. The Penguins, if they really wanted to, could have kept Fleury. They could have given them a first-round pick or anything like that to keep Fleury because a lot of other teams were doing that. But the Penguins actually just gave them a second-round pick to take Fleury. They were going to take Fleury regardless, but they just, to confirm it, they needed to give them a second-round pick to make sure they took Fleury because if they kept Fleury, they would have been screwed. They had a lot of free agents to sign that summer, and Fleury at the time was just a backup goalie here in Pittsburgh. We had our guy in Murray. He was making 5.7, 5 point something million dollars, and for a backup goalie, that's way too much money. So they gave a second for Vegas to take Fleury, and they were able to sign guys like Dumoulin, you know, and now guys like Jake Gensel. If they still had Fleury right now, they wouldn't be able to sign these guys. And in my opinion, I'd rather have Jake Gensel and Dumoulin and all these other free agents 
that we have rather than having Fleury as a backup goalie. So moving forward to the Seattle expansion draft, the Penguins, I think, are going to give Seattle a draft pick to not touch the Smith, but not only that, but to take Jack Johnson off their hands. Honestly, I don't think I wouldn't be too worried about the Smith. In the time he's going to be, what, 29 years old, a backup goalie, a 29-year-old backup goalie. I don't know. If I'm Seattle, that's not really interesting me too much. So I wouldn't be really too worried about the Smith, but I would still give them a draft pick to take Jack Johnson off our hands. And I think that's what's going to happen. You know, you got to get rid of that bad contract. And honestly, I will give up a first to get rid of Jack Johnson. It's going to suck, but it's better than hanging on to Jack Johnson for the next five years. So give me your thoughts on the DeSmith contract. You know, uh, do you think it's a good contract? Do you like it? Do you hate it? I can't see really how you can hate it. It's a great contract. $1.2 million for a solid backup goalie. You know, give me your thoughts on the expansion draft. Are you worried? If I were you, I wouldn't really be too worried because of the reasons I just said. You know, the Penguins won't really... If, if Even if they are interested in DeSmith, they are going to give a pick to stay away from him. And plus, I think that Jack Johnson thing is most likely going to happen. Uh, so I wouldn't worry about losing DeSmith in the expansion draft. Uh, give me your thoughts on Tristan Jari. Do you think he'll be traded and when and for what? Uh, give me, you know, leave a like on the video. Let me know what you thought. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.